Hi friends, welcome um, to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're new. I am Leah, this is Homeschool at Heart, and today I'm gonna be talking about what I got my three kids for Christmas. You guys, I'm so excited. Christmas is literally my favorite and I am, it's not even December, and I'm finished shopping for my three kids. Um, I have an 11 year, all girls. I have an 11 year old, a soon to be 10 year old, should be 10 next week. Um, and a seven year old. And I'm gonna show you guys what we um, picked out for them for Christmas this year. Uh, we are kind of, I guess, Christmas minimalists. We don't buy a ton of stuff for our kids. I mean, it's kind of relative, so you might think that this is a lot of things, you might think it's not very much, but it's it works out just perfectly for us, for our small family living in a small house, um, that we have a lot of relatives that all love to gift things to our children. Um, so we go pretty minimal in mostly things that they need rather than things that are just gonna sit around our house. So, um, we do the, the four gifts. So it's something they want, something they need, something to wear and something to read. So, um, and I kind of loosely base my gift giving on that because usually with them being, um, kind of young, they still need, um, they grow a lot. So when I buy them things to wear, it's not just one thing, it's a few things. And when I buy them something they need, it's usually um, also a few things. So I will show you guys what that all entails. Um, I'll start out with my 11 year old, the oldest, um, and show you guys what we bought. So um, I'm gonna start out with the need stuff because that's what's on top. I kind of tried to separate this so it wouldn't be a super long video. Um, so inside of this box is like socks, underwear, and a pair of pajamas. I'm not going to show you guys my kids underwear, underwear that I bought them because I feel like that's weird, but, um, so she got Harry Potter socks. Actually, she took these out of the package. Sorry about the noise from the plastic. Okay. So I got her some Harry Potter socks. We have Dobby and Harry and... This is why I got them. Um, she loves Luna Love Good. So we've got Luna and Hedwig and Hermione is in there. So all black and white, so they'll be easy for her to care with things. And then the pajamas I got um, are from Little Sleepies. And my sister actually um, turned me on to these. Um, I didn't think that pajamas were that big of a deal until I put a pair of these pajamas on my own body and I was like instantly in love with them. They are um, the bamboo kind of pajamas. So they're so, so soft. They are like rayon bamboo. So it's it's like a really silky soft, but it's stretchy. So um, in my opinion, they're the best. My daughter, Charlotte, my youngest one, and I have a matching set of pajamas. And I definitely uh, <laughs> bought matching ones for my girls. And then um, Tim asked me to pick out my own Christmas presents last year and this year. And I'm okay with it. I really do like surprises, but it works out a little bit easier in our family if I just do that. So I got myself a set of uh, little rainbow jammies. They're... Um, I'm gonna see if this works. If not, then I'll put an overlay over this. But um, they're little pastel rainbows. They're so cute. They have so many different prints. And I had a hard time choosing, but that is the one that I did decide to go with. So that is what she needed. Um, I'll show you what we chose. She has a few more clothes than the other kids just because she has decided to uh, have a growth spurt. So almost nothing fits her right now, so she needed quite a few clothes. So I got each of them a dress. This one is um, Dot Dot Smile, and they are hands down my favorite um, little girl dresses um, because they come in a lot of sizes. The fabric is really nice. 
Um, they have good prints and um, they're, they're dresses that the kids can play in, but also look pretty in um, and also look like little girls. So uh, if you know me in real life, I talk about this a ton. I want my kids to stay kids as long as they can. I want them to stay. I don't want to dress my tween in something that a 21 year old will wear. So um, I got her that little dress when they had a sale. I actually bought it months ago. Um, I found these on Amazon. These are um, like, they're just black leggings, but they have the pockets on the side and this like crisscross in the front anyway um ellie got a pair of these as well they didn't have them in charlotte's size or i would have bought them for charlotte they were on sale during one of the prime day sales i think um but i'll try to link as much as i can in the description box for you guys um this is a cat and jack maxi skirt for beth it's black so she can wear whatever t-shirt she wants with it um does this one this one doesn't have pockets i just bought one for myself that from Amazon not from Target but um that had pockets but this one she I think she'll like this because then she can wear all of her cute little t-shirts that she's got um speaking of cute little t-shirts I got her this don't worry you're just as sane as I am it's a Luna Lovegood um quote from Harry Potter she's obsessed with Luna Okay, um, I got her a jean jacket. I actually got one of these for each of my kids on Prime Day um, because they had them for like 10 bucks. So um, the other two kids haven't come, so you won't see them in this video, but I did buy them for them. They're just taking a long time to get here. So super cute. It's from the children's place. Um, I bought this one. I hope it fits her, but it's a little bit big. But hopefully that means that it will fit her for a while. Um, also, children's plays. These are just plain um, black leggings. That's a two-pack for my child that doesn't fit into any of her clothes anymore. This was like a Amazon clearance. It's so cute. It's a little long sleeve. It said sweatshirt, but it's more of a just like a t-shirt with a pocket in the front. See the cute pocket? Um, and it's got pink leopard print on the sleeves. It's so cute. Again, I'll try to link all of this um, in the description box. And then from Old Navy, these are long sleeve tops. It's like either a really dark navy or black with rainbow um, hearts. And I got one of each of these for my other kids too. And then a solid black. These are like $6. You cannot beat that. So... Thankfully, she's still... Oh, and this one I'll unfold. This one was on clearance. <laughs> so it's probably not going to be her favorite thing, but I thought it was cute. So um, it was $2.50, you guys. How could I pass it up? I got one for each of my kids. Um, it says Star Wars The Mandalorian. So it has The Mandalorian and Baby Yoda, which my other two kids are super obsessed with, and says this is more than I signed up for. <laughs> anyway, I thought it was funny. Uh... All right, so those are the clothes that I got for her. Um, and then for reading, she is obsessed with um, Percy Jackson. And I think, unfortunately, we're at the point where I can't let her continue on in the series right now. She read all the Percy Jackson. She read the next one up. I can't remember what it's called. Um, anyway, so we're at the point where the next book she would read, they're getting into, um, some things that are more mature than I think she is ready for as an 11 year old, um, talking about like dating and things like that. So, um, I try, I'm listening to the first Percy Jackson book right now. Um, and I will probably do some book reviewing in the future, but, um, I'm not finding anything in it that I am not okay with, but as I have looked at other people's reviews for subsequent stories following the same people, I'm not ready to let her read the next book after what she's read so far. So I did get her um, Rick Riordan, Percy Jackson's Greek Gods. So it's like 
Um, just his take on each of the Greek gods and their background stories. Um, and then I got her also the Greek heroes. So there are more Percy Jackson things for her to um, read, but at an appropriate uh, maturity level for being 11. So, um, and then the last thing that I got for her uh, that I will wrap and put under the tree, I'll do a separate video about stocking stuffers, but um, this, for this video, the last thing that I'll put in for what I got for her is um, the thing that she, the something that they would want. And I got the same thing, only in different colors for all three of my kids because I think that they're all gonna go crazy about this. Um, it's a little digital camera. It comes in a little carrying case. It came with the memory card and batteries and all of that fun stuff. Um, I did get them on sale, so I don't know what the price is for them right now. Um, when I bought them, they had like a $20 off coupon code on Amazon. Um, and they had really good reviews. Um, in fact, when I was looking for a new vlogging camera for myself, this is one of the cameras that came up, so we might try it. Right now I use a GoPro and um, I'm finding that like if I see my videos pop up on my television screen, they are not as super good quality as I would hope. So I apologize for that if you're watching me on a TV screen. I like to watch YouTube on, on my TV. So, um, Beth's is purple, Ellie's is going to be blue, and then uh, Charlotte's is pink because those are their favorite colors. All right, so that is what I got for um, my 11-year-old for Christmas. And now I'm going to go, we'll just move down in age order and do um, my 9, almost 10-year-old. So by the time you guys see this, nope, she'll still be 9 the following week. Uh, is when she will be turning 10. So um, we got her a pack of these black leggings. And then I had also gotten um, the like more athletic ones that have the pockets on the side for her as well. Um, my kids live in leggings. They don't like jeans so much. So um, I am fine with it. Black leggings go with everything. And actually during the winter, they also wear them underneath their dresses. So, um, she is my Star Wars loving girl, so I got her, um, a Star Wars shirt. Rey is her favorite, so it's The Force Awakens. She is my little bitty girl. She, um, okay, so this is her dress. She actually put this on her birthday list, but she didn't get it, um, from her party, so I'm excited. She also loves horses and spirit and thought this looked kind of cowgirl-ish so she's gonna die when she opens this up well hopefully not literally but it has like this is from amazon by the way it has really pretty little like rhinestone buttons on it i'm just excited okay and then um also ones that you've seen the black plain black old navy the mandalorian shirt and um the cute little rainbow hearts my kids still don't mind matching, so if I can get them to match, then I do that. All right. Um, I'm sitting on the floor, guys. I'm old. <laughs> All right. Um, and then as far as her something to, uh, something she needs, I got her socks. These are uh, all horse socks. I won't take them out of the packaging because it's really noisy, but I will link these. They're from Amazon. Um, the cute rainbow little sleepies to match her sister. And then I got her some underwear as well that, again, I'm not too keen on showing the internet my daughter's underwear. <laughs> I probably wouldn't show my own either. Like if I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, guys. What do you think? Is that a... I'm right for that, right? Um, okay, so for her, something to read. This is a giant, you guys. We are collecting the illustrated versions of Harry Potter. My kids, all three of them love Harry Potter. Um, and the Order of the Phoenix illustrated just came out. So that is what I got Ellie for Christmas. Um, it, we've obviously read all of these books a bunch of times, um, at least 
I don't know about your kids, but my kids love to read things over and over and over again. They have all read, well, Charlotte hasn't. My two big kids have read Harry Potter enough times that they just skip to the parts that they like the best. But um, she will really enjoy reading this and looking at the pictures. So the illustrations, illustrations are just beautiful. So it's enormous. So I don't even know. I'll probably wrap it in an Amazon box. And then I got her um, a digital camera as well. It is this color that is on the box. They all have this color on the box. And I thought that was weird. But hers is actually this color. <laughs> Okay, so for Charlotte, I do have a couple of things that are a little bit different for her. Um, so let me go ahead and just talk about that. Um, so I'm going to talk about the thing that I got her for her something to read. So Charlotte is reading. She is seven. Um, but she, I suspect, has... Um, she hasn't been diagnosed with this, but I suspect she has attention deficit disorder. I don't think it's ADHD because she's not really hyperactive. She has a lot of attention issues though. And so she's not reading on her own. She reads to me or we read together. Um, but she doesn't really like pick up a book and read it on her own yet because she just struggles with paying enough attention to read through the pages. So... Um, I saw these on, um, Instagram and then like kind of did some hunting on my own, but I bought her a Yodo player, which is basically an audiobook player. But what I love about this is that it's not attached to the internet. Um, it comes with these, well, it doesn't come with them. You have to buy the cards that are the books to go in the reader and then you can use the little knobs to um, play it and change the volume and all of that stuff. That's the controls for it. I haven't opened it, and so I'll do a full review after Christmas. Um, but I do have a discount code for these. You can get 10% off your order if you click um, the link, I think, below. Or I have a coupon code below. Anyway, you'll see the discount thing below for these if you want to try them out. You can also look on their website and they will give you, like, play you a sample of um, the stories. So I also bought her this little case for it. Um, and then some of the cards. This is what they look like. I'm not going to open them because it's a gift for her and I don't really want to uh, open, pre pre-open her gift. Um, but I got her Charlotte's Web. Her name is Charlotte, so I felt like we needed that. The Pout Pout Fish, this one was only $5. So the the cards run from $5 up to um, $12.99 for the stories. And for like a short one, that might seem kind of steep. But like, for instance, this Dragon Tales one, there's like two hours or I don't know. It's, it's so, it's a lot of hours for what this is. Um, and there's many stories on there. And then I got a classic fairy stories one as well. Um, so she got the reader, a case, and then, um, I also signed up for the Yodo club, uh, subscription. So it's $10 a month, but you get two of the cards. So instead of paying like $12.99 and you get free shipping if you're a member of the club. So instead of paying $12.99 for the cards, I'm paying uh, $10 for two cards. So it's $5 per card and not every single one is available, but there's like so many that I felt like it was a really good affordable option. So this, uh, little player, it also has abilities to do podcasts that are kid appropriate and like radio kind of stuff you can do. Um, and it has an app, so you can control it all from your phone. Um, I'll try to insert some footage of the app, but um, you can play the cards from your phone. Um, you can, so if you, could, if you could see that on my phone. Uh, there's the four cards that we have currently. Um, they also have make your own cards. They're out of stock currently, but you can make your own. So like if I wanted to do all of her Awana verses, or if I wanted to read my own story onto a card and ha let her listen to it that way, 
I could definitely do that. Um, we do theater, so I kind of feel like maybe we could do that with like her lines in the future, in the future, things like that. So, um, anyway, it's and you can also buy things from here on the app. I wouldn't let the kid kids use it, but um, <laughs> it's nice that you can control it from your phone. So, um, anyway, I will give a whole review of this after we spend some time using it, but I think that she's really going to love this. Oh, and you can also play, um, like bedtime music on it, like just, uh, noise, white noise. Um, so anyway, there was a lot of things about it that I really was interested in. And, um, I think it's going to be a really good fit for my seven-year-old. So that is her, like the thing that was like the most different a lot of this stuff is largely <laughs> the same. So, um, cause we, you know, it just worked out that way. Usually I, I theme, sorry if I like just rocked the camera. Um, usually I theme that I, I do like think really hard about what I'm going to buy for them and don't typically buy them the same things. But this year it worked out that they would all want this digital camera. Like if one of them got it, and the others didn't, I, I was really foreseeing it being a nightmare for me and Tim. So I opted to get them all the same one. So also, um, when I buy them socks and underwear and things like that, usually I don't buy them anything that's similar so that when things go through the wash, then I don't have to figure out and they don't have to figure out whose is whose because the big kids do their own laundry now, but, um, I still do Charlotte's. Um, okay, so she got Baby Yoda socks. Just for the sake of time, I won't take them out of there. And the little sleepies and the little pack of cutesy uh, character underwear in her box. She got a pink um, digital camera her favorite color is pink. It's really pretty. So here is that. Really cute. Oops, did I drop it? Caught it. Uh, it's a 48 megapixel camera, guys. I feel like that's pretty good for what I paid. I paid about $40 for these. I think that's amazing. All right, so there's that. They are out buying wrapping paper right now so I can wrap these gifts today and not worry about them seeing them. Okay, she also got a little dot dot smile dress. Also from a sale at some point, but they are they are having a sale right now. So I'll link dot dot smile below. Um, she's gonna love this because it's got the pink roses on it. A uh, dinosaur sweatshirt. Also I think that it's more like a thicker long sleeve t-shirt um she got a little pokemon shirt this one says the force is strong with this little one and it's baby yoda and then those same three shirts that i showed for the other kids from old navy and that is everything you guys that is everything that um, I got my kids for Christmas this year. The year is 2022. And um, I think they're going to be excited. I um, will show the stocking stuffer video next. Um, I'm waiting for a couple more things to arrive um, from Amazon. And then I will show you guys what I put in their stockings. Thank you guys for watching my video. And I will talk to you next time. Okay, thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. It means a lot to me. So um, this week, did y'all see Disenchanted? I will not give any spoilers if you did not. But um, my kids, my youngest kid could not remember watching Enchanted. She still didn't after the whole thing was over. Um, anyway, I just want to say, I've been waiting all week to talk about this. Um... We watched it this week as a family and I loved it. It was so good. Um, I 
you know, it's like really hard to come across a movie that's like a two that is actually good. I thought that there was kind of a lot going on at times, but guys, if you have not watched this movie and you love Enchanted, uh, watch it because it just, I, I want to be able to talk about it, but I won't spoil it for anybody. But, uh, if ugh, I'm having a hard time not saying what I need to say, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep going on and on, but, um, just want to say Enchanted, such a disenchanted, such a good movie. The, uh, previews for it are kind of weird but it all makes sense once you watch it and you're going to love it. You're going to love it. All three of my kids loved it. Granted, the music is not as good as in the first one, but I feel like with a two movie, it never is. So maybe I'm building this up too much, but personally I loved it. And so did my husband who is a movie critic, not like professional, but you know what I mean? Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Happy Thanksgiving this later this week and Merry Christmas.